welcome back guys to the last and final video of the series and we're almost done guys we finished and completed the modeling and uh texturing portion of the series now we're going to go to rendering and um if you at any point need to make adjustments you can definitely do so if you don't like the material that you have or you know um the decals you can switch them out create your own in photoshop and uh yeah so don't ever feel constrained to the result you have just because you're this far in the pipeline at any point you can uh, make adjustments so uh, to go about doing uh, rendering inside of fusion 360 we want to go to this top left corner where it says design select that and then go down to rendering now we are in the rendering uh, viewport and typically you start off with a gallery uh, that maybe um, have this pulled up and you can just minimize this by selecting this button there if you have that pulled up now um, Fusion 360 uses the IPR system for rendering, which is um, once you start rendering, it starts off bad with a lot of static, but then as you let it remain idle and sit there, it you know gets better and better through each second. Now, uh, some of the icons here above, one is uh, maybe a little familiar to you guys, and it's the appearance. So if you select that, you'll see that we get the appearance menu, just like when we hit the hotkey A. That's all the same functions. Um, this right here is the scene settings. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time um, creating the environment. To the right of that is the decals, and you saw we applied decals in the design view, so we won't touch any of that or the appearance. So let's select this scene settings icon. And we get this uh, menu here, which is everything that you know revolves around the environment. So we go to the tab that says environment library, we can choose custom HDRIs or preset uh, HDRIs, which is the lighting inside of Fusion 360, and it stands for High Dynamic Range Image. So um, it uses real-world lighting, uses the environment to light the object. So if we drag and drop this cool light here to the environment, you'll see the light changes slightly. And we can go to this icon that says In Canvas Render, and we can start to render this out. And notice it's really staticky at first but once you remain idle it start to pr progressively get better so just let this sit for a bit now let's stop this render by selecting this red button and these are different ones you can choose from depending on how you want to light your environment uh, i like the warm light so i'll drag and drop this into the environment and notice when you drag and drop light changes as well so you see the shadows there but once i drag this warm light it's over here so that just lets you know that uh different um hdri is in place so with that being said we can uh, start making adjustments so we can go to settings and once we render this um, we're rendering this color here but if we change this background from color to environment, we can actually rotate and look around and see what this environment is. So it looks like a interior studio lighting, right? So if you choose a different environment and drag and drop it like this uh, snow field one, you'll see that we have this environment. Now me personally, I don't like to use the environments. So let me stop this rendering and I'll go back to uh, settings. And what I want to do is change the background from environment to solid color and change the color to maybe a bluish color. So I'll slide the slider over and I'll choose somewhere around here. And once I'm satisfied, I'll hit apply, then hit OK. And what I also want to do is change the environment because this is too intense. So I'll choose maybe a the photo booth is a good one as well so we can drag and drop that and notice the background remains with this uh, color we chose for the solid color and we can also add reflections if we want it to be a reflective ground so once we start rendering this you'll see it looks like we're on a marble floor or somewhat shiny or wet and that's by checking this reflection so you can uncheck that if you don't want that or if you don't want a ground plane at all you can uncheck that as well but it's more realistic if you have a you know ground plane so it gives it some um, sense of perspective 
Now, um, something you can also do with the HDRIs as well is start to rotate it. So you can go to the position here, select this icon, and then we can, you know, drag this left or right to rotate the environment to better get a, a better set of lighting, better sense of lighting. And something like this looks uh, relatively well. I like this. So once you're satisfied and you want to get rid of this, uh, all these words, you can recheck that icon. And uh, you can also change the brightness. So if this is too bright, you can, you know, um, drag the slider left or right to make it brighter or darker. So we want to get a good render. So I'm going to just zoom in and uh, start this rendering process. So once you um, you find a good position that you want to keep it in, you'll leave it there for a bit and then you can use the snipping tool or you can use uh, the renderer. So to export out this and capture this image, you can select this icon where it says capture image, hit OK. And then where it says save to my computer, you can choose a directory where you want to save it. But I also want to work on this lighting a bit it looks a little too bright over here it's coming in too hot so I'll stop the render pull back up the render settings and also one thing I want to mention you can bring your custom HDRIs into Fusion 360 as well so don't feel constrained and restricted to the options that are available inside of Fusion uh, you can also do that by going to environment library um, going all the way down to where it says attach custom environment select this and if you have some on your computer you can go to the directory where they are and you can import them you know there's a lot of good websites that have them you can go to polygon um, they have some there HDRI uh, HDR Haven has them as well so uh yeah I'll, I'll pick something that I really like so maybe cool light is maybe a little bit better for me because it, it'll take down the brightness and give us a more cool toned and filling with this and I think I will um, need to rotate this because I don't like this harsh light that's coming off right here so I'll go to settings rotate the environment a bit so I can just you know better position this light and that looks good as well having this nice uh, rim light here in the background because it shows and highlights the outline so I'll take a couple of screenshots and then I'll end up picking one to add to my portfolio. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial series. And uh, if you did, if you guys found this on YouTube, give it a like. And if you find it on Udemy, uh, give, please give me a good rating if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next series.